Hello, in this tutorial, I'm just going to go over how to simply get the ML Agents library running so that you could use it to train something in Unity. So, you know, Unity's Unity. You press play and it starts playing. But how do you get this ML Agents library running? This is a really quick thing. What you do is um, I could go into, I downloaded this uh, thing called Anaconda since ML Agents library is in uh, Python. And um, I just do it through the graphical user interface myself. I start up the Anaconda Navigator. Then I go to Environments. And here I created an environment for my ML Agents library code that I downloaded from GitHub. There's another video I show you how to do that. And um, OK, let me just open this up here. And I can now open up a terminal. What I really wanted to do is open a terminal. I, I just kind of do it from the graphical user interface. So I open up a terminal, and now here I have a terminal, and it's running the ML Agents 16 environment. I named it ML Agents 16 because I downloaded release 16. OK, so now that I have this, I uh, let me minimize that. And um, this guy here, let's just put him down. All right, so now here's the ML Agents um, environment running. And if I wanted to start a training session, if I, if I wanted to start the library to listen, to do a training, all I have to do is type in ML Agents Learn. And I could press Enter, and it would start up uh, the library in listening mode to listen for Unity so it could start training on something. But what happened here is um, I already have uh, some files created. Wait a minute, what is this? Uh, OK, well, one of the other things I want to do, too, say if I'm opening up this um, ML Agents library for this Unity project here, I kind of want to set the path, the current path, to be the path for this, uh, this Assets folder. So let me just get the path to my Assets folder here. I'm just going to copy that. And then in the, here in the Environment window, I could change directory to that path. So now my current path is my my assets folder right here, All right? And now with the path being set here in Unity, I would basically not use any model. I'd remove the model. And in the Python library thing, I'd start up the Python um, ML Agents library with ML Agents Learn. And I could try press Enter. And what happens is that there's already like a file there and it doesn't know whether it's going to override it or not. So I have to just type in the command differently. ML agents learn force and that forces it to like create a new brain. So here I type that. It's always a good thing when you see that unity symbol. And finally, I get the thing I'm looking for that it's listening on port 5004. And it says start training by pressing the play button in the unity editor. So, you know, here is an ML agent with the code there that I set up and everything. Now, if I press play in Unity, the training begins. And remember, I had to take off the model from the behavior parameters of the agent script. I had to take off the model, set it to none. And as soon as it starts up and starts running, doo -doo -doo, we could see it's training. The movement of all these agents is coming from over here, from the ML agent library. So you see, I pressed play. And then it kind of connected to the Unity environment. It's starting a new brain. Um, it's looking at the behavior parameters. And then this is the configuration it's running with for the neural network that it's going to train. If I do not specify my own configuration in the command line, then it just uses its own. But here I can see what all the settings are for the neural network that it's training. And you give it some time here, and it's going to start showing its progress in text form. All right, so the training has been going on for some time. To be specific, 1,206 seconds. I just pressed pause on the video. And you can see here that the training, the um, reward amount is going higher. And that's good. That's kind of what you want. So maybe it's going really slowly for me because I'm recording this video at the same time I'm doing the training. Because <laughs> uh, usually I'd, I'd have a lot more. So this is like one thing that I look at here. And I think the training that I was playing in the video there with the brain, it got up to like a, a STD of reward of like a 0.58 or something like that. So, but over here, the mean reward is kind of still negative. 
So let's see how that's looking here. Fail. It's <laughs> a lot of failing going on. Oh, um, when the training's going on in Unity, Unity's playing it basically like 20 times faster than normal. So um, it's not going to look like this when I play it back with a brain in it. It's during training, it looks like this. Now, another thing that I could use to see how the training's going, other than these uh, text messages here that are printing out, is a uh, tensor board from TensorFlow. And let's see, to, to do that, okay, this, this, is a, uh, this is my ML Agent 16 Python environment running in this window. I'm just going to have to open up another ML Agent 16 environment window. So let me go back to my navigator and let me open up another terminal. Okay, so here I have another terminal and I'm probably going to want to switch the uh, path to be my path here. So is it still going to be able to do this? Yeah, even though it's running. Go into assets and let me copy that address. And I'll just change the directory to that. Bam. I hope that this is the way I do this. Now to start TensorFlow, which is um, pretty much installed when you um, install the ML agents environment here, I type in the command tensorboard logder and then the folder where all these uh, training files are going into here is this results folder. So I'll say results and since I'm in the path results is referring to that results folder right here since I'm already in the path. And then I press enter and I cross my fingers to see if the tensor board starts up. Uh, it says cannot load dynamic library, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but then finally it says tensorboard at HTTP localhost 6006. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let me just copy that, control C, and then I'm going to go to my browser. Come on browser, where are you? Just get my browser up here. Here we go. And I'll paste that in and go to it. And there you go. It should show me the training progress here. So this is another way to see the training progress. I could just look at it here as the training is going on. Right, so just see here it is happening in the ML agents library window as time's going on. It's showing the results and there's numbers and here it's showing it graphically with TensorBoard which I started TensorBoard running in a separate window here but it's still on the ML agent 16 Python environment. Okay so that's that. Now if time had gone on this is gonna be a, a much uh, better graph but you can see the rewards and everything they're still very low so let's give it some more time see what it looks like as time goes forward. I'm going to just do a little pause, pause speed thing here. All right, so I let some more time lapse, but this is going very, very slowly. So basically, you know, the thing to remember is how to start TensorBoard. You have to open up another ML Agents uh, environment window, and then from the second environment window, then you could run the command TensorBoard dash dash log dir and results for the results folder and then you can get the TensorFlow visual representation. Um, one last thing I want to show about, uh, but this is going good, as you can see the values are going up. So the training is happening, it's just um, kind of going slow. Now, uh, the one, one more thing that I want to show is, um, let's go back here and open up Unity again, that there is a, you could make your own configuration file for the ML agents library to train with. So as you can see here, it was using um, a default configuration file settings, the trainer types PPO, and these are things that you could tune like the neural network a little bit more. And if you wanna make your own for to override these default settings, uh, I did this. I kinda made my own file, configuration file. Let me open that up. So the configuration file, the extension is a .yaml, Y-A-M-L. And in it, 
um, basically I just, what I did do is I kind of copied from the um, project settings, from the projects that came in the ML Agents download library, which are here. Let me go to it. Unity assets, ML Agent 16. And here, is it here in the projects? Or basically, let's say ML Agent 16. Let me just search for star.yaml files. Okay, so these are like the 3D ball YAML, the basic YAML. So I kind of could copy from like, say, basic YAML, right? Which just had this stuff in it. And that's what I did. I copied one for myself. And I said, um, I just changed the name, the name of the file. And the name right here has to match the name of your behavior name, void holes. So that those names, they have to match. Okay, so the name of the file and the name right here have to match. So then um, the trainer types PPO, I know an another trainer type is SAC, but to know what all these things mean, there is, uh, I just kind of went to the internet and I just looked up um, ML agent training config, something like that. And then you'll come to the um, their documentation file in GitHub, which is right here. So there's PPO specific configurations. And here we go over some of the configurations and what they mean. And let me see, the ones that I liked that I found that I'm gonna be interested to use are the max steps that says how long the training is gonna go on for, okay? So if it's zero, it goes on and on and on and on and on, and it won't stop until you press stop in Unity, okay? Then another setting that I find interesting is here, the hidden units and the number of layers. That's the complexity of your neural network. So uh, let me just bring up some graphs of a neural network, some diagrams. And so you see here, there's the inputs for a neural network, and then there's the output. All the nodes in the middle, these are the hidden units, and these are the number of layers. Yeah. So the hidden units would be how many are in a layer, right? The hidden units. And then the number of layers is how many of these layers are there in between the input and the output. So right here, this says number of layers of one. That means there would only be one layer, like this one. There'd only be one layer. Um, and I think, you know, you could, you could increase those numbers, you could play with them. And usually if there's something you're trying to train that's more complex, well, you know, uh, usually a more complex neural network could help it along. Uh, so those are the first two things I would play with, but you know, that's, that's how you do your own YAML file too. You could create the YAML file. And now if you want to actually use the YAML file when you do the training, let me just stop this training here. If you want to use the YAML file, when you do the training, you'll have to state the command ML agents learn like we did before, but then you'll have to specify the YAML file. So I would say avoid holes.yaml. And I don't have to put any part of the path here because here I am in the assets folder already of my project. And here's the YAML file. And then I still do force because you know I, I just done a training. And now when I press go across my fingers, it reads my YAML file and it takes the settings from there. And, you know, that's how I use my own YAML file. And I think that that is all I should do for this video. You made it to the end of the video. I'm so proud of you. This is my website. The main thing I want to show you is that for any of these videos that you've seen on YouTube, I have the tutorial section, which has the blue links for the projects and the orange links are the files. Also, you could go over here and play some of the games we made in the game camp.